Greetings YouTubers. Um, just wanted to give you a little uh, video here on my installation for uh, Broodminder uh, setup. I did bite the bullet and bought one of the Broodminder uh, uh, scales and the temperature and humidity. Okay, so I got the thing and for more precise weight measurements they recommend that you modify the bottom board uh, with a notch in the back with a two inch piece of angle iron and also the broodminder is centered in the front with a three sixteenths by two and an eighth uh, notch in the front. Um, I normally use brushy mountain bottom boards because they have the screen um, in them but that made a dilemma. If I cut a notch in the back here on both sides no matter which one I do, whether it be the broodminder or the angle iron, it's going to interfere with the uh, uh, sliding in of the corrugated plastic. And I do like to keep it in during the winter time. So, and also like to use it for mite checks. So that apparently is not a good option. So what I did is I come up with this idea here where we're going to modify a solid bottom board and not many people use these as much as they used to but um, this is an old bottom board that I took and what I did is I cut the, the 3 16 by 2 and 8 notch towards the back and the 1 8 inch uh, notch for the angle iron goes in this open end and the 3 quarter inch side I decided to put down um, this angle iron by the way is not cheap. I got mine at Home Depot and I think I had to buy three foot and I think it was about fifteen or sixteen dollars. So if anybody needs an extra uh, one, I have one available <laughs> for the right price. Um, this is the Broodminder and you use it pretty much as is after you uh, pull the thing for the battery and allow that to go and I'll show you what it looks like put together so you line this up with a notch and it seems like a good idea because that way it'll keep it I'm gonna have to pause this for a second here 